Now the machine's in defrost. So what you want to do is if, if you know you have a defrost problem, this thing here is frozen solid back here. Completely frozen solid. First thing you want to do is spin the timer around to defrost till it clicks and everything shuts off. Now you just want to wait. You're going to wait a few minutes. We're going to see if that heater comes on. If that heater comes on, when we, this thing's frosted over, you manually stick that in defrost and that heater comes on, you have a bad defrost timer. No question about it. Now, if you advance that timer into the defrost, right there, if you advance that into defrost, everything shuts off, and that heater never comes on, then you're going to have to troubleshoot a little bit farther than just the timer. And we'll get into that here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this while this runs for about five minutes, and then we're going to check it. All right, so we've had the machine in defrost for about 10 minutes now, and that heater is not hot at all. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just move this back panel out. I'm going to unplug this plug right here. And I'm going to remove the whole back panel. All right, so the heater's been running for about 10 minutes. Well, I had it in defrost for about 10 minutes. The heater has not come on. So at this point here, I went ahead and unplugged the refrigerator from the wall because we're going to check these components inside here to see which one... You know, if, if the heater's good, we're going to check to make sure we got con continuity through the heater. And then we're also going to check the, uh, the, the thermostat up here. Now, the thing with this thermostat here, these defrost thermostats, is when the temperature of the thermostat is below, I think, 50 or 60 degrees. They're all a little bit different. Some 50, 60, 40, you know, whatever. But once they reach a certain temperature, they will open up because that heater is not going to stay on for the full 30 minutes. You know, that heater is actually capable of turning this refrigerator into a small oven if it were to stay on 100% of the time. So the defrost cycle, it'll go through a 30 minute defrost cycle, but the heater may only be on for 5, 10, maybe 15, 20 minutes, however long it needs to behind this panel to heat up, melt the frost, warm that thermostat up to, you know, whatever it calls for. We'll just say 50 degrees. That's probably about the average. Once that thermostat reaches 50 degrees, it breaks the circuit to the heater and shuts it off. And then the timer's still gonna wait its full 30 minutes to go back into to running again. So what we're gonna do first is check the heater. So I'm gonna put the camera down, take the heater off, and then I'm gonna show you how to check it. Okay, a couple, couple things here. I, I do have to warn you that I did unplug the refrigerator from the wall before I did this. But now keep in mind that your hands are going to be cold when you're inside this cold freezer. These fins on the evaporator are extremely sharp. Whatever you do, try not to uh, run your hand over them. Put some gloves on before you start pulling these wires off and stuff like that. You will cut yourself. I guarantee those will cut you like a razor. They're actually really sharp. So what I've done is um, my meter set on ohms. One side of the heater, other side of the heater, about 35 ohms. The heater's good. So now we're going to move on from here. All right, so what I've done is I went ahead and unclipped the defrost thermostat off the top of the evaporator here. Now how this thing works, and the, the safest way for you to test this and the easiest way is gonna be to cut it off the wiring harness. Basically, you wanna get yourself a pair of wire snippers and cut it right in the middle, right about here, so you have enough room to, to butt connect these two wires back together, and you wanna cut it a few inches up here. That way you have enough room to get yourself a couple butt connectors and, and put it back together. But the safest way for you to test this is going to be cut this off, get yourself a glass of ice water, drop this in there, leave it in there for about five minutes. Okay. After you've let this, the thermostat part sit in the glass of cold water for about five minutes, 
you want to test your two leads. You want to have a completed circuit through in, in through one wire, out through the other. You know, I mean, if you put this in defrost timer, if you put this, if you put the defrost timer in defrost and you go ahead and, and I'm not going to recommend it, you know, I went as far as checking the machine with it plugged in as, as I would recommend for you guys to do. You know, the simplest check was put it in defrost. If the heater comes on, you know the timer's bad. But we put this in defrost, the heater did not come on. We checked the heater with it unplugged. We know the heater's good. Now we're going to check this. So you put that in some cold water, cut it off, put it in some cold water for about five minutes, check the resistance through it. If it shows an open circuit after it's sitting in cold water for five minutes, this is no good. So you want to replace this. You get a new one of these, they're only a few bucks. Your machine's going to be back up and running. You put this in cold water for five minutes and you test this and you have resistance. This is good. The only other thing that it can be is a bad defrost timer. It'll probably cost you anywhere from $20 to $40 to replace the timer. So that's about as simple as it gets right there. You know, you could check to see if you have voltage coming in, see if the voltage is going through the heater, and then cut the wire while there's still power because you have to nick into these to see if you got voltage coming out the other side. I'm not going to have you guys check it like that. You know, there there is a limit to, you know, what I'll have you guys do, and I think that's going to be about it right there. That's the, the safest and the easiest way for you guys to check it. So I'll go over it one more time, so if you're still listening to me blabber on about this. You know, the only reason I explain this so many times and repeat myself is because I know how it works. And I understand that a lot of you guys don't know how it works. So if I say it enough times, most of the time it'll sink in. So that's why it's, it may seem redundant, but you know, I'll even go over it one more time. You have a defrost problem. The back panel of the freezer is completely frozen solid. You got ice build up on this back panel. Freezer super cold. Refrigerator is not getting cold at all. You hear the fan running, you hear the compressor running, but nothing's happening down here. You find the timer, you advance the timer around till you hear everything shut off. You know it's in defrost. You spin the timer real slow with a flathead screwdriver. You are click, 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 click. You hear a loud click. That's the machine going into defrost. The fan's going to shut off, the compressor's going to shut off. You wait about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. You'll you wait for that heater to come on. That heater is cold and you'll know when that heater comes on. You'll hear it's water's going to drip on it. It'll glow red hot after, you know, 10 minutes of running if that thing's completely frozen solid. You'll know if the heater's on or not. Just give it some time. You know, don't, don't let it on for three minutes. And like, well, I don't think it's on. Sometimes it'll be hard to tell. You're going to pull this back panel off. You're not going to be able to see half these parts inside here. You may have to pour a little bit of water on, you know, to get to the connections to unplug it when you're ready to check it. So the heater does not come on. Or back to what I was saying. Put it in defrost. Ten minutes. The heater's on. You know the thermostat's doing its job. You know the heater's doing its job. The timer's what's not doing its job. Replace the timer. Your machine will be back running. Now, in, in this case here, the heater did not come on. So I went ahead and checked the heater. The heater's good. The machine's unplugged. I unplugged the wires. I checked the heater. It's good. Take your thermostat. Put it in some cold water. Some Put some ice in a glass. Fill it with water. Dunk that thing in there and leave it in there for five minutes. Then check it. Make sure you got resistance going through that. You want to cut it here. Cut it here. And that's where you want to check with your two leads on your meter. If it shows an open circuit after it's in that cold water for about five minutes, the thermostat's bad. If it shows a completed circuit, if it has continuity, the thermostat's good. The only other thing you're going to have is the timer. So that's about as simple as it gets right there. Now let's say you cut this off and this is bad. You know, what do you do at that point? You have to order a part. It may take a few days to get in. In the meantime, you don't have a refrigerator. Well, well you, you, you do. Once you clear these coils completely. I mean, you're going to have ice down inside the vent. This is a little passage where the water, where the air goes down into the refrigerator. So if this is frozen solid, the 
probably going to be a lot of frost and ice build up in here and also in this little channel on the on that panel that we took off a lot of times you'll know because you won't be able to turn this this will just be frozen solid that little channel so clear that out clear out the the vent here with some hot water completely defrost this with a hair dryer whatever you have to do if you have to order a part if you have to order a part and you have to wait for it put this all back together you know tape up your wire so there's nothing loose you know, connect everything the best you can put the back panel back on plug your fan and make sure you re-plug re your, your wires in take the machine out of defrost let it come on once once this is clear of frost the machine's going to work just fine you bought yourself about a week you know it's going to run for at least a week week and a half before that starts building up again with too much frost to where it can't make it down into the refrigerator compartment. So I hope I have made this easy enough to understand and clear enough for you to, to figure it out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And like always, thanks for watching.